Muy buena gente, sean bienvenidos a otro capítulo más de la historia de Genshin Impact y en este caso nos vamos a encontrar con que Jin nos está buscando porque nos metimos en unos gran problemas ahí con Venti, estaba haciendo su loquera, fuimos a buscar la lira y nos encontramos con Jin y con Diluc ¿sí? y vamos a buscar en este momento las lágrimas de este capítulo que son las, las lágrimas de Duvalin y eh, las eh, lágrimas del de dragón Stone Terror Vamos a eh, buscarlas para poder enfrentarnos luego con él. Espero que les guste el capítulo. Estuvo bastante movidito, tuvimos bastante acción. Y no, al final terminamos en, la, eh, en el viñedo del de señor Tiluk. A ver qué eh, logramos ver en este capítulo. Espero les guste. Yo soy Vir y nos vemos en el capítulo. Floor's defenses have been broken. I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. How did you guys know the liars? He the place is being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the. I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards. And this guy looks like he's about to wet himself. You, you just worry about yourselves. One of the eleven is already in Mondstadt. Senora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes. Don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Senora? What a strange name. Number eight of the eleven goes by the name Senora. The fact that the Fatui can run amok across the seven nations like they do is entirely because of the eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. Never heard of that. What are you lot doing here? That lies way too up. And just how do you play? <laughs> Think you can look down the will of Shnezna. There you are, eavesdropper. <laughs> Let me amuse myself a little. Oh! <laughs> 
that we haven't tried. Surely the key must be in there. I have the key here. You can head in from the hall outside, but don't tell anyone. Scrap! Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. I must leave no stone unturned. Prepare yourselves. As a dutiful maid would. Mm -hmm. yep. He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again. Big talk for a guy who still ran off. Welcome back. This is the Holy Liar. You managed to retrieve it. The pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood, and the strings still feel cool to the touch, too. Uh, what do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Mm, although this liar is the real thing, as you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of his- In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. <sighs> Is that really important right now? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean? 
Anyway, we won't be able to call Duval. The liar itself is fine, but the strings. You're up, Outlander. Relax, it's not. It's just that the intensity of its animo power has greatly diminished. Do you still have Duvalin's teardrop crystal? Great! Try to use it on the Holy Liar! It worked as this youthful ghoul. Praising yourself? Really? I was talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose pep. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. I can surmise that Duvalin will all suffering alone in some <sighs> To Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. Let me come up with a song for you. Is that all you're going to do? Just say. Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't. Now what? <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Six months ago, a thief stole treasure from the East Temple of the Four Winds. Whoa, what was it? A cup used by Barbados? No. Although, if such a thing existed, it would be very valuable. Among all the relics they managed to dig up, one particular like? object was very rare. It was a vial which contained the animal god's breath. Relics come in every shape and form, huh? Anyone with an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it out as well. They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. I bought more than 2,000 fakes to date, and the Fatui are yet to find the real one. Whoa, you guys are insane. So it means the real one must be out there somewhere on the black market, right? Hmm. Paimon will give you a discount on them if she finds any, because Paimon's just great like that. Sure, you can try to find the real one. I'll take what you find, even if they're fake. I can't. Once you're done, find me at the winery. I'll trade you a beer for every 20 you find. Cool it! 
Someone needs assistance. Paimon didn't think we'd find the volunteers in a place like this. As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. In my experience, the secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it in the first place. Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. What? <laughs> don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision, and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does, though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait! You had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too?
It's too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm. Besides, the Fatui can also... Hey, Luke. I heard that the Fatui have recently proclaimed you persona non grata. <laughs> what an honor. Nobody was ever proclaimed persona grata by the Fatui anyway. The Fatui? The diplomatic delegation from Sneznaya? What have they got against Master Diluc? The Fatui are a problem not only for the Knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Diluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. You Knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront this so-called diplomatic scum. Personally? I despise them. If I were to choose between eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui, I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic. Let's put our crystals together. Oh. The color of these crystals looks... <sighs> to fall in. Let's start purifying these crystals first. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you... Interesting. It's like filtering wine. I think we should have enough tears now. Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. It worked! It seems completely different from before. The liar's animal power seems fully restored! We should be- It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm to- It must be away from the city, else there will be- Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually- <sighs> The wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or... Paimon understands. Sea or high places. Then the best location to play the lyre would be... If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star... What do you think, bard? Meets the requirement. Let me think. S All right. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Someone needs assistance. Everyone is finally here. What a view. Lovely for a faded reunion, is it? Well. We must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally... S Mondstadt has really been going through... Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my perform... in your eyes. Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. We are communicating. Huh? No! Don't just fart! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now, oh, look at me! to deceive 
my true identity for some though i thank you for how's the holy liar can it still be played or does it need uh, unfortunately i think it's beyond repair you're right if we don't fight the evil at its source th in which case i shall call upon outright no need why is that i eradicated one not long ago in one of the four winds temples what if you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. <sighs> Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt and- Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting- <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant di- Will not go unpunished. Thanks, Gloria. 